still discovering bodies. Police urge neighbors to lock their doors and windows and be sure to use your home alarm systems if you have one. Two of the three escaped suspects have been caught since the electrical failure at Smith's Grove Sanitarium last week, but one suspect is still at large and considered armed and dangerous. That stuff creeps me out. What? Escape lunatics on a stormy night? No thanks. Scary. Wait here, Vanessa. Don't worry, Krista. I'll protect you. Okay. I feel better already. I bet you get really scared if you watch monster movies. I bet you're right. I could tell you some really scary stories. Oh, I I don't know. Please. It's Halloween time. I don't want to have to tell scary stories at Halloween time. <sighs> okay. Maybe a couple. Then you brush your teeth. Deal? Deal. Okay, what story do I tell first? Okay, I got one. There was this old house that sat on a hill just outside of town. I'm sorry, I, I thought the house was vacant. I'm just trying to get in and out of the cold. It's not Halloween yet, is it? Come on, you pizza. This was a bad idea. Why don't we go back to the bowling alley like we originally planned? It's not too late. We could still make it. Where's your sense of adventure, Anna? Don't you want to tell people you spent the night in Hell House and live to tell about it? Don't be afraid of that. There's no such thing as ghosts or evil spirits. Sure, you two keep telling yourself that. Bingo!
I can't believe we're actually inside the Hell House. Girls of the sorority are totally gonna freak when I tell them. What's so bad about this place anyway? And why is it called Hell House? I keep forgetting you aren't one of us townies. Well, it all started back in the 1920s when Anthon Hall moved to town and he built this house for he and his wife. <laughs> they were madly in love and absolutely inseparable. They tried to conceive a child, but to no avail. Out of options, Hall turned to black magic in hopes of making his wife fertile. Soon after she became pregnant, everything seemed perfect. That is, until the delivery. Hall's wife died during labor but not before giving birth to a horribly deformed baby boy. Hall was heartbroken and spiraled into a deep depression. He ended up suffocating his son with a pillow and hanging himself. After the police arrived, they were appalled by a shocking discovery. As a ritual, he gave his wife the ability to bear a child. He sacrificed and mutilated four infants. Their mangled remains were strewn about this very basement. The house stayed vacant for many years. So a young couple from New York bought it in the 1950s. A few weeks later, they were all found dead with their third slit. They say the house was cursed, possessed by evil, supposedly was built upon one of the seven gateways to hell. You guys actually believe that stuff? Uh, it's all just coincidence. There's no such thing as ghosts or evil spirits. Coincidence, huh? Then how do you explain skull face? Skull face? What is that? Skull face was the guy who bought the place back in the 1980s. Why did they call him skull face? because he wore a skull mask every time he murdered somebody. Skullface didn't just wear a mask. It was a part of him. He sewed it onto his face. That's disgusting. Why did he kill people? Skullface believed that every time he took a person's life, he gained their soul. Alright, let's just check this place out and get out of here. Then you two can brag to everybody that you stayed here and we won't have to hear about it anymore. Be sure to keep an eye out for ghosts. Very funny, Sarah. I guess as long as we get to spend the night together, it's not that bad. You better take me out someplace real nice to make it up to me, though. I will, baby. I promise. <laughs> it's 
Sam? Sam, where are you? Sam? Stop it. Stop doing this, I'm scared. This isn't funny, Sam. Sam? Sam? Sam, you're such an asshole. Jesus Christ, Sam, you scared the hell out of me. You should have saw your face. You might want to check your underwear. Bathroom's right there. You're such a jerk. Sorry, sweetie. Anyway, check what I found in the other room. It's fucking creepy. Ew, it's so grody. Get that thing away from me. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, Sarah. Sarah. Ow! You cut me. Guess we pissed her off. I can't believe I even say with him. What a jerk. Come on, babe. It was an accident. Let me in so I can take a look at you. Okay. I didn't think it cut you that bad. If it makes you feel better, we can leave and go to the bowling alley. Sarah? Sarah, are you alright?
idea. He's pretty freaked out. Maybe there is something wrong with her. I don't want you to get hurt. We gotta leave. We can't stay here. <laughs> look, just calm down and stay here. Anna, look out for him. Be careful and hurry up. Sarah. Sarah. you man
you know. <laughs> Go f yourself. <laughs> That was really scary. Who told you about that story? Kids at school. I have another one. I don't know. That one was pretty darn scary. I'll help you clean up and brush my teeth. Okay. But after that, we clean up. Now this one is about this girl who lived next door to my best friend Jessica. No! No! Please! This can't be real. Okay. You, you can't I, just abandon us, though. I mean, God help those who help themselves. Oh, go in peace. No, you need no. to stop! Father! Look, you can try the Catholic Church, okay? They've got experience in this. I mean, hell, they've made movies out of it. I understand your concern, but there are channels and steps that have to be taken for a matter such as this. Other priests we've talked to have said you've done this before. I have not done an exorcism before. I've attended one. It was before I was a priest. It was with my girlfriend, Tiffany. Unfortunately, the father couldn't save her. That's why I became a priest. Exorcisms are very rare, and, and the church really has not acknowledged but very, very few of them. You can understand what we're going through. You can help us. I'm sorry, but I can ask around. I, I can check with my superiors. Is there anything they can say that will change your mind? I'm sorry. I just can't go through this again. May God be with you. Peace be with your travels. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I still wish you were here, Tiffany. Baby Jesus, I'm gonna have to call you back. The silent foul creature, I'm not here to engage in a pugilistic battle of words with you. I am here to show you the power and the way of Jesus. Foul creature, when I'm done with you, I'm gonna take that demon out of you and take him out of the woodshed and give him a proper whooping. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. I'm not listening, I don't wanna hear you. Everything and the kitchen sink plumbing, Cliff Peterson, owner speaking. Yeah, hi Cliff, this is Rodney Edwards. I've got a few busted pipes. That is one of my specialties. Good, good. Would you have any time to be here tomorrow? I'm all booked up, but you know what? I could come out after I'm finished just to give you an estimate, and it would around five o'clock work for you. Yeah, that'd be good, thank you. It would be my pleasure. See you then.
way to change my mother. Thank you for coming, Father. Where is the child? Down the hall to the left. Now it's important, no matter what you hear, that you do not come in. I cannot be interrupted. Okay, we understand. Thank you. No, don't thank me. Pray to God for his help. Thank God! These people are crazy. They kidnapped me and won't let me go. And don't you remember me? It's me, Tiffany. Help me. Get me out of here. No. It can't be you. You died. You, you can't be here. I am here, Ben. How, it's me. How long have you been here? I'm not sure. It seems like forever. Take me with you. Please let me go. I have to make sure you are who it you is, say you are. It is me. Ah! Why are you trying to hurt me? In the name of the Father. No, and the stop son. it. I rebuke ben, you. I love you. I still love you. Silence. Stop it. In the name of the Father. No. And the Son. I rebuke I, you. No, stop it. No. Silence. And do you want me? And I still love you. Do not cast me from your presence. Or take your Holy Spirit from Stop. me. Restore me to the joy Stop. of your salvation. Help me. Help me. And grant me the willing Stop spirit it. to sustain me. Stop it. Save me from the blood. The God who saved me. along the boat looking at all the wonderful dolphins splashing into the sky they were having such a wonderful time i wish you were having a wonderful time so they went down and Sir, we'll be targeting the spirit, not the flesh. What does that mean? The demon has bonded himself to the soul. We need to break that bond to free the flesh. Okay, but please don't hurt her. Oh crap, I think it's that plumber. You guys can go ahead and go. Okay, I'll show you where the room's at. Good evening. Cliff Peterson, I believe I spoke to you earlier. You had some busted pipes. Yeah, yeah, I did. Actually, I forgot about the appointment. We've uh, got some things going on. Could we reschedule? Well, we can, but since I'm here, how about I take a look at the damage? That way I know what part to bring next time. Yeah, I guess that'll probably be all right. But I gotta warn you, we're having some problems with my daughter. Uh, Drug-related issues? Interesting fact. In 1830, Dr. Samuel Woodward created the first inebriate asylum. Fascinating. Pipes are this way. Oh, 
here it is. Mm-hmm. Well, this isn't so bad. Really? Thought it looked like a war zone in here. I once helped a good buddy that was in a war zone. That was 1980, Afghanistan. He was trying to liberate some guns from the Ruskies. Man, those were some great times. You know, I think I could fix this right now. I, mean, I can ignore whatever is going on here. I am a professional. Are you sure? It's pretty loud in here. Uh, she is going through withdrawals. You know, I once worked through a tornado. That was in Oklahoma, 2010. I'll tell you what, you leave it to this, and uh, if you need anything, let me know. Appreciate it. I think I found the problem. Are you ready to leave quietly? No. <laughs> That's what you think. You're gonna be my new toy. Crazy ass kid. I'm the hell out of here. What the hell's wrong with this crazy ass family? That is why it is just as important to brush your gums as well as your teeth. Okay, I will. Mommy, what's for dinner? That story was even scarier than the first one. Well, it's creepier because it's true. How did you hear about that one? Jessica told me. Uh-huh. Don't make fun. Scary things really do happen. I know they do, sweetie. Just not sure Linda Blair was your classmate. Get a huge bowl of popcorn, turn both the lights out, and snuggle on the couch. I watch scary movies all the time. My mom would never let me watch those. Maybe that's why they freak me out. Oh yeah? I have another one. Oh, I, I don't know. Well, there was this one guy my friend Aaron's big brother had a really freaky thing that happened. Some old movies, huh? Yeah, some of my earliest adventures. Your earliest adventures? Yeah. Of course. How could I forget all your conquests? 
For the life of me, I've never been able to figure out how you get all these women to play along with you. And you seem to get every single one of them on camera, too. Oh, I got my secrets. Oh, drugs, huh? Hey, man, the ladies love them. Yeah, well, I'd be a little bit careful there, buddy. Uh, you could land yourself in some serious trouble. <laughs> trouble? What could possibly happen? <laughs> I'm serious, pal. You could get busted. And these women today, some of these bitches bite back. What if you try this on the wrong lady? Ain't no wrong lady for me, bro. Every one of them wants to fuck with the chuck. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> All right. But I still think you ought to watch out. Look, I almost never have to use these things. I guess I'm just one of those people it comes easy for. That's why they call me Lucky Chucky. So who's the next conquest you got lined up? Oh, some weirdo chick named Victoria. Seems like a bit of a nutcase, but she's hot enough for me to tolerate long enough. I'm supposed to meet up with her later tonight. Speak of the devil, she just sent me a message. She must be picking up on my psychic sexual forces I've been sending her. You know I got that effect on women. Sure you do. Hey bro, I gotta go get ready for my hot date tonight. I'll call you later and let you know how my latest video is. Okay man, but just remember what I said and be careful. <laughs> sure man, late. must be Chuck. The one and the same. Here, I brought you some wine. Come in. So this is a nice place. Thanks. Have you lived here long? Yes. So, uh, what do you like to do? Not much. What kind of music do you like? I don't listen to it. Well, what's your favorite movie? Don't really watch them. Come on, you gotta have at least one favorite movie you enjoy watching. 
Okay, Bride of Frankenstein, I guess. That's a great one. I love that scene when... Excuse me, I gotta go check the food. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem, babe. Looks like I'm gonna have to go to plan B. It's not quite done. No worries, babe. So what do you do for a living? Well, nothing actually. Nothing? This place is so nice. How can you afford it doing nothing? Well, my father was a scientist and he made pretty decent money, but then he passed. Uh, he left me a pretty good inheritance. Oh yeah, that's awesome! I mean, I'm sorry, that's awful. No, oh, you remind me a lot of him. Me? Yes. How so? Your face. Well, I propose a toast to your father. You know, this wine is fantastic. You should, you should try some. Thanks for the offer, but I don't really like wine. Hey, listen. I spent good money on this wine. You could at least humor me? How stupid do you think I am? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Now, now listen, Dad. Dad. You know, Chuck, if you're gonna try something like this, you really ought to check your glass first. You think I don't know your game? This isn't my first time with a whore-seeking online dating junkie like yourself. All you guys are the same, moving from one girl to the next. Why isn't anyone ever good enough for you? You just want to find perfection, but you see the problem with that, don't you, Chuck? There's no one perfect living person. No one person is ever going to be good enough. But unlike you, I've sought long and hard for my perfect mate. I've been patient, and tonight I'll finally have him. Any last words, lover? Victoria. Wait, please. Vicky, no!
shit. Oh, hell no. Hell no can't have this. Damn, I need my brother Matt Brasso on this shit. Son of a bitch! Cheap shit on my back porch! Yo, sweet mama! Bitch, where you at? Somebody mess with my fro, I'ma go home Kung Fu you on the ass. You mess with my fro, you die. You mess with my hoe, you die. Son of a bitch! Do you know who the fuck I am? I am Derville Sweet. <laughs> Well, zombie, got a cue, so I'm gonna name you Zombie Ho. Okay? There we got something for you. If you can get it out of his throat. Might as well. Listen up, you ugly bitch. Let me go, you're gonna live. If you don't, you're gonna die. When my man finds you, he's gonna kill you. I told you I was going to have fun with you before I feed you to my little pets. Stay breath, motherfucker. When my man finds me, he's gonna kick your ass in the sun and make you wish it was Monday. <laughs> Yo, sweet mama. Where you at? Yo, zombie, hubby. You know where my woman? Oh, hell, why am I asking you? You're a damn zombie. Come on. Bitch, where you at? You heard what I said? My man is Durbel motherfucker sweet. He's gonna come and whoop your ass. Sounds like someone is looking for you. Yo, sweet mom. He sounds like a motherfucking asshole. Take your stink ass hands off my woman. If I wasn't tied up my damn self, I'd kick your ass. I am going to enjoy every minute of torturing you. Good hunt. You do not look like much to me. What do you think you're going to do? I'm gonna kick your ass. Two things you don't mess with is my fro and my women. And you sure don't mess with my new zombie hoe. And you don't mess with my 1975 Chevy van. And keep your motherfucking hands out my wallet. And you better not mess with my lava lamp. But can I pull 45? Grab my because I got a hair appointment. The one and only Darbell Sweet. <laughs> Ain't this some shit? Where the f are you going? 
future is done, fool! You know talented jive ass bitch. My whole day is messed up because of you. Prepare to meet your doom. Maybe me, you, and the zombie. Oh, hell no. You need to end that real quick. Sorry about this zombie, ho. Sorry you had to see that, baby. Let's go. You know the thing I like about you? You is quiet. Q-U-I-E-T. That is the hope for me. Baby, we're gonna go to Vegas. We're gonna get some hoes and party like it's 1977. just the wind. It's really picking up out there. I used to be scared of storms. Maybe we should go turn the radio back on. Welcome back to WRKAP and I'm Tamara Davis. This just in, it seems that a terrible act of violence has shaken our community. Police have informed us Enid Unger committed these acts allegedly under the influence of a cocktail designer drug. Her whereabouts are unknown at this time. Damn it, you bitch. One simple thing. I asked for one simple thing. How bad can you fuck up? God damn it. I'm quite a catch, you know. Damn it! 
Enid. Glad you showed up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just give me like two seconds. I'll be ready to rock. All right. Get your ass on the floor. You are late. Unless you'd like to come talk to me in the back room again. Not today, Mr. Bartridge. Really? Shit.
Airbrush Beauty doll face. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm not feeling all too great. You feeling with me? I like just fell on the toilet. Oh my god, are you okay? Do you need me to cover for you? No, no. Just keep an eye on me. Okay. Order up! Table four. Get your asses in gear, ladies. The fuck, you klutz? <laughs> Dude, I'm totally I'm sorry. Why I'm not me to do that. Get your valley girl ass hands off me, all right? God damn it, Vic. Why did you be such a dick? She looks like shit anyways. Let's leave. Dude, you're not even wet, so just chill out. You're not wet? Manager? Oh, I'm sorry. These waitresses don't know what they're doing out here, man. Fucking get me wet and everything like that. I can handle this shit. I need some free food or beer something. On the house. Oh, be yeah, nice. Finish. Half beer, really, bro? Really? My shift's over. You look like shit. Can I cover for you? No way, Dolphins. You go on. I only have another hour. I'm fine. Her head? When's the last time you ate something? Not today. They wouldn't let me eat before the procedure. Shit, yeah, that was today. Still can't believe you guys told Joe. What if he finds out? He's gonna kick your ass again. Yeah, well, that's history, and he ain't gonna find out. Oh, you sure as hell don't need that sucker spawn running around. You did the right thing. Thank you, honey. I knew I could always count on you.
back to WRKAP, and I'm Tamara Davis. This just in, Terrible Tim of the Drive-In Movie Maniacs has just donated a kidney to save little Timmy Crutchfield's life. What a great heartwarming story. Thanks, Terrible Tim. That was great. On a darker note, what we're about to show you is very graphic. Please do not allow your children to watch this. Take them into another room. It seems that a terrible act of violence has shaken our community. Police have informed us Mid Unger committed these acts allegedly under the influence of a cocktail designer girl. Her whereabouts are unknown at this time. Please call the tips hotline if you spot this woman. This is the third reported outburst of violence in the city this week. In lighter news, tune in next week when I, Tamara Davis, will take you inside a real live seance. You gonna go with me upstairs? Sure, now who's creeped out? I'm not scared. I just need you to give me the cinnamon toothpaste from the up in the cabinet. Sure, I'll go. Your stories must have been scarier than I thought. I told you. You, finish up, kiddo. I know a really scary story about a car accident. I got the job. Yeah. The bad news is, though, the interstate's completely blocked up because of some major accident. Don't worry, I found this back roads detour. It takes a couple more hours than the regular one, but at this point, it's going to be faster than the interstate. Yeah. Other bad news. Cell's about dead. I forgot my charger, so... Yeah. If I find a gas station, I'll pick up a new one, but it's pretty backwards out here, so I kind of doubt it. Yes, I wrote down the directions. Yeah, I'll have them in case my phone dies. Listen. It's beeping now, so it's about to die. It's gonna be really good for our new family. All right, yeah. Okay, I love you.
should be home soon. I'll tuck you in and finish cleaning up our mess. One more story. I think I've been creeped out enough for one night. Don't you? I'll tell my mom you're the best babysitter in the whole world and no one can ever babysit me but you. It'll have to be a quick one. I still need to... Super fast, I promise. Okay, last one. I actually know this one was real. My grandma used to live next to this real creepy guy. yourself pretty good there. But that's okay. Don't worry, I've got something in the car to fix you up, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a first aid kit in my car. Mm -hmm. You'll be just fine. I'm gonna go run and grab it. I'll be right back. Okay? I can send you on your way, okay? All right. All right. This may sting a little bit, okay? All right. There you go. We'll just clean it up. Yeah. And then we can send you on your way, all right? All right. Here we go. That's what my mommy does. There you are. Is that it? Yep. You're good as new.
Don't worry, Sugar. It'll all be over soon. You seem sad today. How is my favorite girl? <laughs> One day soon will be your special day, beautiful. Is this your sweater? <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you then. Um, you know, I live, you know, a few blocks up that way, and, uh, you know, saw your car in the driveway. I've seen you at the park a couple times, and, you know, thought I'd, I'd at least ask. Oh, it's no problem. <laughs> oh, good. So, um, my house is still quite a few blocks away, and I'm very thirsty. Could I, uh, trouble you for some water? Water? Water, you know, agua, H2O, you know. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that'd be okay. Uh, come in, I'm sorry, uh, I was working downstairs and <laughs> then you knocked on the door and it surprised me, so <laughs> it was, I wasn't expecting you. Come in here. Want lemon? That would be great. So, how long have you been here? Oh, about six months. I uh, move around a lot. It's a, it's a job situation. So, uh, how long have you been around here? Oh. Feels like forever. 
I like the quiet though, and after all the crap I've been through, it's, it's exactly what I needed. You know, if I'm bothering you, if I'm keeping you no, from something, I no, can... No, no, I'm glad you came by. I've been wanting to talk to you for a long time, but you know how things are. What do you mean? Well, I didn't want you to think I was some kind of creep. I had a hit on you. I'm sure you get enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I mean, you know, you seem like a nice, normal guy, you know. I don't think it'd be a problem. But you said you've been through a lot of crap before. Uh, the last relationship I was in... Seems like so many years ago, I almost forgot all about it. It just, you know, left me with a lot of issues. You know, this, let's not do the whole sob story thing right here. I mean, um, you know, I'm sure you've got some horror stories of your own, so. <laughs> well, this has been a pleasant talk. Oh, um, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin Parker. Oh, <laughs> that's a different name, well, Edwin. <laughs> so, uh, what do I call you? How about you call me next week? <laughs> I'm Regine Dandridge. My friends call me Reggie. Okay, Reggie then. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have finally met you. Well, I better get going, talking your ear off, so I hear dinner calling me. So soon? <laughs> well, I'm sure, see you at the park or something, so. Oh, speaking of, be glad you left when you did. Heard a woman lost her kid somewhere in the park. A lot of cops hanging around. <laughs> eat your dinner before it gets cold. Super sure about the vampire part, but that's what I heard. He got killed by vampires. That's what Grandma said, though. Well, you're a good storyteller. <coughs> Do you have a flashlight, Nessa? Mom has one in the bathroom. Okay, stay right here. I'll be right back. Man. It's okay. Okay. Your mom should be home soon. What was that? I don't know, sweetie, but it wasn't your mom. Boogie Man, Boogie Man. Okay, it's okay. We're going to be okay. Listen to me. We've got to be quiet because I have to go out there and see where he's at. No, no, don't go. Listen to me. Tie this around the door and do not open it until I say it's okay. No matter what.
what you do, do not open the door. Okay.